what is going on guys welcome to your 13th PHP tutorial and first of all welcome back to me because I know that you may have just watched the last video and now you're watching this one but in between that last video in this one in real life there has been a lot going on I went to Cancun and I actually got sick and I got like the worst sore throat of my entire life I'm actually on antibiotics now so it's kinda sucky and if my voice sounds a little bit weird then that's why but yeah even though there may be a couple seconds between the time you watched the last video and this one a whole lot happened in my life so another thing I'm trying to figure out where we left off what I think we did was I think that we pretty much took all the data and put it inside a database and now we're ready to start analyzing this stuff so if not and if I'm totally going on the wrong path then I guess I'll figure that out soon enough but let me go ahead and now that we have all the data where we want it let's go ahead and start analyzing this bad boy so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file and I'm just gonna go ahead and save this as let's see yep we have the stock downloader I think that's good to go already so let me actually go ahead and make a new folder and I'm just gonna name this analysis because like I said we're gonna basically have a bunch of different uh, how I don't want to call them functions but a bunch of different formulas that we're gonna be testing so we're gonna be putting each of these formulas in a different script so we probably don't want it all jumbled up in the same directory as this so I'm gonna throw them Oh, excuse me. I'm going to throw them all in a folder called analysis. So I'm just going to go ahead and name this one analysis underscore a. And might as well save this as a PHP file. Dot PHP. Now I'm just going to go ahead and whenever I make a formula, I'm going to go make it A, B, C, D. And that way, it just helps me, you know, organize things a little bit better. Because what we're going to have to do is this formula is basically gonna run through the data and we wanna like store our results in the database so if we had 10 different formulas instead of trying to remember the name of each one we can just run script A then analysis B C D E F G and we don't have to be like okay stock goes down dot PHP stock goes up three days in a row dot PHP you see what I'm saying so now you know with that little spiel let's go ahead and start coding this bad boy PHP and okay I remember how to code some PHP at least so the first thing I want to do is actually include that connection file so remember that connection file we included right here in our stock downloader pretty much gives us access to the database however we can't just copy and paste that from um, this stock downloader PHP because check this out it's located in a different file if we go ahead and try to open this right here there's no include file so we need to hop back a directory and then hop back into our includes folder so how do we tell PHP to hop back a directory well we use those two little periods or dots whatever the heck you want to call them and then you use um, the forward slash I forgot the name of it whatever the heck it's called and that says okay move up to the parent directory and then the includes folder is there so remember you can't just use this path right there that means that would mean that there's an include folder in the same directory as basically inside the analysis folder and it's not so with that being said what we want to do is we are going to build a formula now the very first and probably the only formula I'm going to teach you guys how to do is this whenever a stock goes down for one day the next day is it likely to go up is it likely to go down so basically you're saying this okay after Google goes down the next day should you buy it or should you sell it well what we're gonna do is we're gonna test this formula not only on Google but through multiple companies all the companies that we have listed in our ticker master so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build one main loop and the main job of this loop is pretty much to loop through that ticker file and extract the ticker name so I'm just gonna go ahead and call my function function master loop sounds like a rap name master loop and I think that if I was the rap that would be my name but anyways <coughs> oh, still a little bit sick there. I just had, <coughs> oh, I just had some mucinex, so now all the phlegm's coming up. 
pretty cool. So now what I'm going to do is I actually want to store that file in a variable called, I'll just name it main ticker file and set this equal to f open and of course as a parameter you write the directory of the ticker. Now remember the directory or the file path for the ticker was tickermaster.txt but we have to move up one directory because we are in the folder analysis right now and it's in the parent folder so dot dot slash and you actually need to surround these in quotation marks dot dot slash and I believe that name was ticker master dot text and the second parameter is R since we're just going to be reading this file and what I mean by this dot dot is whenever you open something anytime you need to go up a directory in other words to the directory before it then you use that dot dot and since I just wanted to verify ticker master dot text was the name okay we're good to go I didn't forget that part so basically now this main ticker file represents ticker master which remember was a text file with all of our tickers in it so now we have access to that file what do we want to do well what we want to do is we want to build a while loop and what this while loop is going to do is just run through this file and grab each ticker one at a time so let's just go ahead and build a while loop and build f e o f f e o f and as a parameter of this I'm just going to use that main ticker file. Now what FEOF means, I can't even remember if I talked about this in the last tutorial. This is pretty much a pointer checking for the end of file. So it's pretty much like a cursor that's going to go through your text file. Let me go ahead and open this up. Ticker master that text. It's like technically it's a pointer but it's pretty much the same thing as a cursor or, or at least that's the closest I can explain it. It's going to loop through this and then it's going to give you this and then this and this and this and this while loop is going to keep going until you reach the end of the file so the very first thing it's going to do is return Yahoo then forward Netflix Adobe GE and then our while loop is going to end so the very first thing we want to do is remember we actually don't get anything yet it's just a pointer moving says where do you want this cursor to be so we want to say okay we actually want some data in the form of a string so in order to do that we need to use a formula called um, f gets but let's go ahead and store that in a variable first so company ticker and set this equal to f gets and we're just gonna go ahead and name me ticker file so just remember whenever I say pointer just think of it like a cursor so now what this f gets function is gonna do is it's going to go ahead and return the first line it basically returns a line of text as a string and not only does it return this line but it also moves that pointer for you in to the end of the line so it does a couple of different things here basically returns a line as a string and also moves that pointer or cursor so now that we got a company ticker what do I want to do after this well the only thing I want to do is trim it because remember whenever I trim it I just ensure that if I accidentally have a space like right after that or something I don't want that included so let me go ahead and just use the trim function and that will take care of any unnecessary or unwanted white space so there you have it there is the beginning in the next tutorial we're gonna start running through this data for each of these companies and um, analyzing this crap so uh... yeah there you go thank you guys for watching and i'll see you then